Oh, hello. Are you a gamer? Looking to upgrade your graphics card until you saw the prices and shit your pants? Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to make your graphics card last longer without selling an organ. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things hardware and gaming, news, and reviews. Okay, if you've been looking to upgrade a graphics card lately, well, you're pretty much out of luck unless you're fine with paying two to even three times as much as you would have for the same GPU a year ago. Luckily, I'm an expert at making graphics cards last longer than they should. And today, I'm going to give you five tips to boost your FPS in games to extend the life of your aging GPU. The first tip might seem really obvious, but we've all been in the midst of doing something important when that annoying pop-up tells us it's time to update our drivers. So we just exit it, telling ourselves we'll do it later. But later never comes. Well, it's time for later. It's time to go back in there and update those drivers because both Nvidia and AMD constantly release new ones that help to optimize their GPUs for newer games. And it wouldn't hurt to ensure your CPU drivers are updated as well. Something a lot of people don't do is actually see just how poor or great their hardware is. Maybe your frame rate isn't as bad as you think, or worse yet, maybe it's not your GPU that's bottlenecking your system. Your CPU may not be boosting properly because there's 15 pounds of cat hair in your PC that's caused the fans to forget what airflow means. So you want to do a couple things. First, run some games you like to play with an FPS counter like Shadowplay or Fraps. If it's pretty bad, use a monitoring tool like Afterburner to see if your GPU is running at 100%, the temps of the GPU, CPU voltages, etc. If, say, your CPU is at 100% but not your GPU, it would be better to just overclock or replace your CPU instead of your graphics card anyway. If your temps are too high, get a better cooler, etc. I've always said that the biggest enemy of electronics is heat. That or a giant gorilla named Bobo, but that's a different story. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> No, heat is the enemy of all electronics, but when you can conquer it, you're able to push said electronics beyond their limit and perform better than they were intended. Now, a quick disclaimer. Overclocking any component usually voids your warranty, and without knowing what you're doing can ultimately be the death of your components. With that said, if you do know what you're doing, and I won't explain the how-to because tons of people have done it before, you are able to squeeze out extra raw juice to gain that last bit of FPS. The issue with graphics cards is that you're pretty much stuck with the shroud it comes with when it comes to air cooling, other than adding more case fans, but luckily most third-party vendors leave a little headroom for those looking to get the extra oomph out of it. You can also get a custom water block and water cool it nicely for more power. So there are a few different programs coined as gaming optimized software like Razer Cortex that claim to help you gain FPS in games. In a way, they work, but you're still having to run software, so it can ultimately lead to less performance depending on how much it can help. Luckily, what they do can be replicated without the software. For one, close out all your programs. If you can't hit 30 FPS in a game by itself, you probably don't want to stream it. Next, it's time to pull up your task manager. Hold Control, Shift, and Escape to pull it up. From here, go to the Processes tab and look to see if there's anything that's taking up abnormal amounts of RAM or processing power and promptly end them. Then go through and try to end most of your tasks that don't seem important. If it's something essential to Windows or a process needed to avoid a crash, Windows should give you a prompt, but there's a chance it won't and your computer could crash, so try to just shut down things you know of. If all else fails, you can do one last thing to ensure you get maximum FPS, since we know playable is a lot more important than pretty and that's lower your settings. I know, I know, it's every PC enthusiast's worst nightmare, but remember that this is only temporary. How temporary is up to stock issues with graphics cards, but here's to hoping it won't be much longer. Either way, you can do anything from lowering anti-aliasing to using low presets or even lowering the resolution. All of these will help give your GPU the boost it needs to play even decently demanding games. Well, depending on what you've got. So, while I know these tips won't make your old GTX 480 into a shiny new 1080 Ti, it can help you at least extend its lifespan until you can pick up a new one. So while that does it for today, what do you think of today's video? If you've got any other suggestions to make your GPU last longer, make sure to let people know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, 
Have a great day.